Hi everyone, how was my last tutorial about the house and the different parts of the house as well as some other house related vocabulary in the German language? Do write your reviews in the comment section. Now in this tutorial, let's have a look at a new grammar, the locative adverbs in the German language, which are called lokal adverbien or orts adverbien in German. Der Ort is the place. So locative adverbs will show the location of something or someone in a certain place. So before watching this tutorial, please do check tutorial 35 in which I have revised the German grammar cases and introduce the dative grammar case because knowing that grammar case is required to be able to better understand the description of location of something or someone. Also do check Tutorial 42 in which I introduced the two-way prepositions as they make use of dative grammar case to show the location also. And tutorial 43 in which I showed you how to describe the directions to someone which also make use of the grammar cases and in describing the directions I also used two locative adverbs in that tutorial and also do check my previous tutorial on the house so let's have a look. Starting with here, which is here. Let's look at some examples. Ich und meine Freundin stehen hier. I and my friend are standing here. So I am this woman in the pink dress and this other woman is my friend. Hier stehen ich und meine Freundin. There are two possible ways of positioning these adverbs in the sentences. They can be positioned at the end of the sentences or at the very beginning. Dot, which is there in English. Specifically, when you are showing someone, some other person or something and pointing to that person or to that thing, then dot is used to mean there. Die Stadt ist dort. Or dort is die Stadt. So in the background of this house is a shadow of buildings that let's assume are the buildings in the city. So if I'm showing my friend and pointing to these buildings, I can say the city is there. 
or there is the city. Überall. Everywhere. Das sind Bäume überall. Überall sind das Bäume. Das sind hier has been used to mean, like we say in English, those are. It has been used here in German language as a fixed expression and as a fixed expression comes in the German language, the wording or the words of the fixed expression do not change. Only the positioning changes because of the positioning of the adverb. Those are trees everywhere. So we can see trees here almost everywhere in this picture. Everywhere are trees. Bäume is in the plural form and the article will be D. D Bäume, the trees. Which is why it is important to note that das sin is coming here as a fixed expression and das is not the article of the word Bäume. Hinton. So there is a preposition in German, hinter, with an R at the end, which shows the location of someone or something. And this locative adverb, hinton, also shows the location. Hinton means behind. Ich Sehe einen Fluss hinten or hinten sehe ich einen Fluss. Sehen with an N is an irregular German verb and its conjugation I will show you in the later tutorials. Note that this verb uses the German accusative grammar case. So it is der Fluss, the river, but if I was saying I am seeing the river, it would be ich sehe den Fluss, like this. But because I'm using the indefinite article, a river, it becomes einen Fluss. So I see a river behind, behind I see a river. Fawn or fauna, so both ways it can be written. Ich sehe einen Zaun vorne. Vorne sehe ich einen Zaun. Zaun is the fence. It is der Zaun. I see a fence in the front. In the front, I see a fence. Es gibt ein Vogelhäuschen links. Links 
gibt es ein Vogelhäuschen. So links is to the left. In this sentence, there is once again a fixed expression as skipped. But I have used this fixed expression in my previous tutorials and showed you that this expression can be used with a singular noun or it can also be used with a noun in the plural form. Because this fixed expression as skipped means there is with a singular noun, there are if there is a plural form of noun here. So actually in this picture, there are two bird houses. But I am talking about the one on the left here. This word is a compound noun. Made up of two nouns, der Vogel, the bird, das Häuschen, any small house. So any small bird house is the meaning of das Vogelhäuschen. So being a compound noun made up of these two nouns, the article will be the article of the last noun in the compound noun. So there is a bird house on the left. On the left, there is a bird house. Rechts. On the right. Es gibt eine Terrasse. So this is a feminine noun in the German language with the article D and the indefinite article Eine. There is a terrace on the right, as you can see in this picture. On the right, there is a terrace. Rechts gibt es eine Terrasse. Oben. So if I'm showing to my friend the house, then I can say das Bad ist oben. The bathroom is above. Oben is das Bad. Above is the bathroom. Unten, below. Die Waschküche ist unten. Unten is die Waschküche. This is a compound noun made up of waschen and a noun. Die Küche, which is the kitchen. Part of the verb en ending has been left out. Verb is combined with a noun to form the compound noun. So the kitchen in which you wash is, interestingly, the Waschküche, but it is not the kitchen, it is the laundry room. So this laundry room is below in the picture on the left side of the house below. Drinnen inside. So I can be telling my friend here, es ist elegant drinnen. Drinnen ist es elegant. So it is elegant 
inside the house. In this sense, draußen outside. Der Garten ist groß draußen. Draußen is der Garten groß. The garden is big outside. But in the second example, outside is the garden big, is how it will be written. So that was all for today. Do stay updated for part two of this tutorial in which I will show you how to use these locative adverbs to show the movement or the direction using two prepositions, von which is from and nach which is to. Thank you.